Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. Uh, in this edition, we're going to fix a squeaky x-axis pulley on the DaVinci uh, 1.0A printer. So basically what the problem is, is, is moving in the uh, x direction, this, this pulley squeaks substantially and it's sort of a little bit of a known issue on the internet the problem and basically basically one of the situations is is this pulley a lot of times from factory comes ungreased or unlubricated so and it's also a good um maybe maintenance piece you know once a month once every two months depending upon usage to actually grease this bearing because there is there isn't uh sorry it's not a bearing it's actually just a uh, shaft because there isn't a bearing in here. So that's that's part of the challenge. So one of the things I'm, I'm doing this a little bit in conjunction with the last video since I've got the sides off as you see. So basically you'll need to pop this 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 side off. Whoops, get my finger in there. This side off as you're facing it, the left hand side. And I've shown that in the other video. And uh, while you have that off, then basically I'm going to kind of go around here and I've already removed the screw, but there is a uh, number 10 torque that goes in the side of this, eh, if I get my fingers here, goes in the side of it here. And I'll show, I'll show putting it back in. Um, but anyways, this is from the side. So you take this screw out and then basically what this housing, this, this, this piece that's sticking out is spring loaded to hold tension. And basically what that screw does is lock the tension. So I'm going to put the camera back in the tripod for a minute to get myself both hands back. So then basically what you do is you take your thumb on this, you hold this, and you push it in while you reach in here and hopefully my hands aren't. I'm trying to do this without. So you push this in and kind of lift up on this. And you have to pretty much get it all the way in. And it's a little bit of a might be a little bit, and I'm trying to do this around the camera, so it's a little bit difficult because I've already taken it out once. So basically, it's slotted. Whoop! There it goes. So it came out. Uh, and so, anyways, sorry for bumping the camera. So basically, this this is the wheel in there. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of white lithium grease. I'll get this on there, and just put a little bit on on the ends. And you only want to get it on the end, see if I can get this right, get it up here. So, and the reason I'm using, I, I've had um, a lot of good luck with the lithium grease. I've used this stuff for years, um, and it lasts forever. It provides a, a very nice uh, barrier. So now, one of the things, now this, this is interesting because this wheel has no cogs on it. Uh, Whereas the some of the ones I've seen on the internet have cogs or you know teeth in it, so it's kind of immaterial. So what you do is now just take this and again try to avoid getting any of the grease on the belt, and you put it back in. Now what I do is I just kind of hold it like this. You might want to kind of keep a little bit of a paper towel around just to wipe your hands off because you will get a little bit on there. And again, you don't want to get it on the pulley. So. Uh, again, you're going to reach up here between this and you're going to re... and, and uh, it's probably easier if you stick your hands above. And again, this makes this kind of hard. It's not as hard as I'm making out to be. It's just working around this camera that's hard. And you notice it just slips back in there. And then, voila, no squeak. Squeak is a thing of the past. Now, what you probably want to do is you want to do this um, up front of getting the machine just so that you know you don't wear any type of grooves into it. I've seen on the internet where a number of people have worn grooves uh, into the unit. So, oh god, I wish there was some way you just tell the light just to stay on. So, anyways, um, one of the things I'm going to take you back. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm going to start this screw back in now. I had to take my screw all the way out to get. Um, any type of force on that um, spring-loaded carrier to get it to move. I don't know, yours, you might be able to loosen it. I've seen on the internet people just loosening it. So I'm going to, to do this now. I'm gonna, now what you have to do is, 
So the, the belt is pretty taut. It's a pretty strong spring, and the string the spring is fully retracted. So uh, I think you can see my fingers here. And again, uh, this carriage that moves right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna, going to, with my fingers, as I tighten the screw, kind of pull it back. The spring does a pretty good job. I'm just putting a little bit of extra tension, and then I'm going to go in. You can probably see me on the back side with, with the torque driver tightening this in. And, and basically, what you, the reason for this is that you want to put the other the tension is, is as you're tightening, and let me see if I can see here, as you're tightening the screw on the back side, it wants to pull this bracket back in against the spring. So you pulling it out just a little bit of force is going to balance that out and ensure it stays tight. And then sure enough, I mean, this is, this is nice and tight. Uh, so we shouldn't have any issues there. So, anyways, that's, uh, and again, uh, that's how you go ahead and, and uh, fix a squeaky x-axis. And I think this will also improve some of the prints now, uh, having having done that. Because, again, you can hear how, how quiet it is. Before, it made a screeching noise uh, because of the metal against the plastic, and now with that. So, again, I would recommend, you know... Um, I'll see how it goes and report back on the channel, but I'm guessing if it's heavy use once once every month or two months, you know, if you don't use it heavy, if you're just a recreational user, probably once a year is more than enough uh, to make this work. So uh, give it a thumbs up if you found this handy, and any questions, just put them below and I'll try to answer them. Uh, again, don't be overly intimidated by this. Uh, very simple task, just pop the side off. Uh, with a flathead screwdriver, you can see my previous video on fixing the alignment issues. And uh, just one torque driver, loosen, loosen or take out that screw, pop this out, put a little lithium grease on it, and you're good to go. If you guys have any better grease suggestions that last longer, etc., let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear them. Again, I've been using lithium grease on, on these type of things for, you know, a couple decades at least. So anyways, uh, hope this is value. See you in the next video. Cheers.